I was at a Christian rock festival. Never meant to be there. Christian rock festival. I was just passing through the Christian celebration festival. There was a stall set up that said, a free toasty <laughs> for all of God's children. A free toasty. <laughs> so I thought, sham on. I said, good afternoon. <laughs> good afternoon, sir. May I have a toasty? <laughs> and the guy said, are you a Christian? And I thought, well, if I'm not a Christian, am I not getting a toasty? <laughs> That's very un-Christian. <laughs> and the guy crumbled under the weight of my argument. And he said, OK, you can have cheese or cheese and ham. And I said, I'll just cheese, mate, because I'm a Jew. <laughs> That's how you get a free toasty off the Lord, people. I'm getting to that age. I'm 23 years old. I'm 23. Not a lot of people believe that. I'm 23. I know in the west of Scotland, this is what a young guy looks like in this day and age. I'm 23. <laughs> I look like a darts prodigy, don't I? Get out, come on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 23, so I'm getting to that stage. Some of my friends, some of my cousins are having children. And that way, you'll notice this. In a, in a family gathering, there's a newborn baby getting passed around somebody's living room like a joint. <laughs> And everybody's saying their piece. You know some people who have just got this natural rapport when they speak to babies, they can just go, oh, look at you. <laughs> and the baby starts mumbling. Are you telling me a wee story? <laughs> it's getting closer and closer to me and I'm thinking, shit. <laughs> I need to pretend I give a fuck. And it gets to me, and I just kind of freeze. I'm going, oh, how, how, how you doing, mate? <laughs> then the baby feels the tension, starts to cry. Everybody looks at me as if I'm in the wrong here. Oh, toughen up, you wee prick. <laughs> so we're making, a, we're making a DVD this evening, so you have been part of the audience. Thanks a lot for that. <laughs> a DVD that's probably already on sale in the barras. <laughs> Give you five DVDs for 40 quid. There you go. <laughs> How are we doing, Glasgow? Friday night, it's fucking payday. Here we go. <laughs> it's good to be here in the Scottish Exhibition and Conference Centre. Here we are. The SECC, or as it's known locally, that fucking SECC. <laughs> Three quid for a hot dog in that fucking SECC. <laughs> See the queue at the bar in that fucking SECC. <laughs> That was announced in no, a shock statistic about teenage pregnancy. Apparently one in three 15-year-olds in the UK admit to being sexually active. That was a shock tabloid headline. I don't know where they get this kind of evidence. No, I don't know who they ask to get these statistics. No, if some youth worker, some youth worker approached you when you were 15 years old in front of all your pals <laughs> and asked you if you were sexually active. You're fucking right, mate. <laughs> Who's Shagger? <laughs> Put me in for five, pal. <laughs> Who 
Did you ever get any sex education at school? Remember, word would spread when you were 15. If you went to the health centre, they gave you condoms. That was good. You went down there, got the health centre, got your condoms. None of us were well sexed, but you got the condoms. Filled them up with water. <laughs> they become water balloons. Using a condom and a water fight, the thinking man's water fight. But you'd always have one of your friends who would take it a bit too far and introduce a Durex extra safe. <laughs> a Durex extra safe and a water fight. You'll fucking put somebody in a coma. <laughs> A Durex ribbed extra safe. <laughs> You'll need facial reconstructions. <laughs> uh, live and let live. That's the motto. Believe you, I believe, unless you're a dick. That's my motto. Believe you, I do. <laughs> the, the election fever grip. Anybody vote in the election? Anybody get interested in a big election this year? I watched the free leadership debates and I thought, wow, I'm definitely going to draw a cock and balls on the ballot paper. <laughs> It's quite good when Gordon Brown got caught on the microphone. No, they say they just got unlucky because the microphone just died. As they get, uh, you know, they just managed, just managed to catch him saying what he said. That he was talking about. I think he'd get pretty lucky if the microphone had stayed on. Would have heard what he really thought. Not just some bigoted old woman. You know, his idea was that. Was that Sue's idea? Absolute disaster. Just a bigoted old woman. What she needed was a good fucking ride. That's what she needed. <laughs> <laughs> Eastern European immigrants, just a good cock, that's what she needs. <laughs> so, how did we enjoy the SCCC? First time here, first time in the gig, the SCCC. Nobody ever. Nobody talks about the show after the SCCC. They just talk about the prices, don't they? <laughs> guess how much? <laughs> guess how much we paid for free drinks, have a guess. Guess how much? <laughs> for free drinks. The key is to aim high and kill the conversation stone down. <laughs> Feed how much? 50 quid. <laughs> oh, that's as much as that, huh? <laughs> we thought it was quite expensive, but it sounds as if we got a bargain. Yeah. <laughs> it kind of ruined Tony Soprano's image if he just whipped out a provisional driving license. Huh? <laughs> you believe this fucking cacksucker? <laughs> That was back in the day, back in the old days, when the late night TV was good. Remember Channel 5 would stick a porno on. <laughs> <laughs> you would have programmes like Euro Trash on Channel 4, and that's what kept young people off the streets. That's what put an end to teenage antisocial behaviour. Put softcore porn back on terrestrial TV at the weekend. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Remember, you'd be there watching the Channel 5, the Red Shoe Diaries, or Indecent Proposals. <laughs> it gets to the good bit. You're ripping the head off it. Right. <laughs> You get to the point of no return and they go to adverts. <laughs> Quick, change that to Euro trash. <laughs> a midget poking a zebra's arse with a shopping trolley. <laughs> By no means ideal, but it's better than nothing. Yeah. <laughs> Remember finding a porn mag in a hedge? That's a dying game, isn't it? Finding a porno in a bush. <laughs> Remember you'd be playing football, the ball would get kicked in the bushes, somebody would go in to retrieve the ball, they would come out with no ball. <laughs> Proudly parading a wank book. <laughs> Match abandoned. <laughs> 